Today, we're going to take a posture of peace by expecting gentleness from God. Posture is a short, audible fist bump to remind you God is with you in everything. Together, we're going to be emboldened to take a daily posture of perfect peace. Jesus told us in Matthew chapter 11, verses 29 and 30, he said, Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. My yoke is easy and my burden is light. Did you know that God is relentlessly gentle with you? As a posture community, we have been becoming well acquainted with the nature of God, who he is and what he is like. And before I understood, you know, who God was and what he was like, crisis, conflict, hard situations would come and I would react to the chaos thinking in fear and anxiety, oh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Instead of responding to who God is and declaring, no worries, I know who I'm with. You know, I used to think that the fruit of the Spirit was a measuring stick for my performance. If the fruit was present in my life, if there was peace and joy in my life, I thought, I must be doing well, like I must be performing well, I somehow earned this. And if the fruit, you know, seemed gone, if people were not kind to me, if life was not gentle, I would think, oh no, I must have done something to deserve this. And it was like I had so much more confidence in my ability to take myself out of Christ than I had in Christ's ability to keep me in him. My expectation was on me and not on him. <laughs> And one day in a very hard situation, God said, Linz, do you know that I love you? And I was like, yes, you're God. You love me. You love everyone. And he said, do you know that I always love you? And I said, yes. And it was a little bit more hesitant this time, but yes. And he said, do you know that I'm always gentle with you? And I thought, always? Like, even when I screw up? Even when I fail? And I sensed him say in that moment, I won't be who I am not. We don't change God. He changes us. Our behavior, good or bad, never makes him act outside of himself. And, and that was the day for me that I just stopped trying to talk God into my reality and I let him talk me into his reality. And you may struggle with what I'm saying because you might think that what I'm saying is that God just lets us get away with things. But what I'm saying is God makes a way for us to be transformed into his image and likeness always. God is not fixated on who we have been because our old sinful nature, it died with Christ. And when you receive Jesus as your savior, you're made totally new and alive to God. And God is totally focused on the you who is alive, the you who is in Jesus. And God's gentleness towards us demonstrates his confidence in the finished work of Jesus. You know, there are days that I might not feel very confident in the finished work based on my performance or my behavior, but God is always confident in his work. And it's his gentleness towards us that opens our hearts and our minds to receiving all he came to give us. His gentleness stirs a calm confidence in us and it just creates this atmosphere in our relationship with him of total trust where we are transformed by his nature towards us. You can expect God to be gentle with you and that expectation will change you. You'll gain a confidence. You, you won't be afraid to come to him. You won't be anxious about stepping out in faith. You won't panic when trials come or mistakes are made. You won't lash out when others fail you you won't throw away your confidence. Jesus told us what we can expect. 
He said, he told us in Matthew 11, like I read, we can expect rest and gentleness and humility, a yoke that is easy and a burden that is light. And by the way, this is just a fun truth. Do you know that that word easy, when Jesus is talking about his easy yoke, is the same word used for goodness or kindness in Romans 2, 4 that we talked about in episode 80? Go back and watch episode 80 with that in mind. Jesus is really, he is really this delightful. There's no condemnation in Jesus. There is freedom in Jesus. He is so confident in the work he has done for you. And you can be confident to make his gentleness and all of his nature towards you your expectation today. The promise of perfect peace is found in Isaiah 26.3. In Hebrew, it is shalom, shalom, meaning complete wholeness, nothing missing, nothing broken. This is who you are in Jesus because of Jesus. You are a living testimony of Jesus' ultimate win. With every step you take today, you're putting Jesus' victory on display and Satan's defeat on replay.